up, y'all? Welcome back to the Quinnice Show. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Quinnice. If you're turning family member, what's up, y'all? We back in that thing. So today, you guys, I am really upset today. And let me say, I'm outside on my back, actually. So y'all gonna have to excuse it because we had a little get together over Mother's Day weekend. Happy Mother's Day, if you are a mother. Um. Anyways, so you guys, I wanted to get on here because I was just so, I'm like so frustrated. So in the house that I currently rent, um, my they have a option where i can do like um lawn services so people can come out and do my lawn and stuff like that or what have you so it's like an incentive type of thing you still have to pay for it but it's least as an incentive that i include on your rent which is like okay awesome i don't have to worry about lawn service or whatever so basically i was on like a um they were coming i changed it from bi-weekly which they were coming every two weeks to so coming monthly so they're supposed to come every month, but instead somehow they had me on a bi-weekly. Anywho, I mean the last time they serviced my property was back in February. Y'all are yeah. in May, right? So that's that's already the frustration or whatever there with that. Um so I called the company that um handles that, that takes care of my lawn services and stuff like that. And they're like, okay, of course we'll come out and service your property. We'll be out on Thursday. This was last Thursday. Um, I'm like, okay, perfect. So I get an email saying that the contractor that comes out, like they send uh, random contractors, whoever's available will pick the job up and do it. So I normally pay, they went up, it was $79 originally, and now it just went up to 89, what is it, $89 or something like that. Um, so they, I got an email, like I said, telling me that they'll be out Thursday to come service my property. So I get an email late Thursday telling me that they can't come out and service my property now until Friday. I'm like, okay, fine. Works out. I'll be at home. I, I don't have to work. Cool. So they don't, the one thing I hate about this is that they don't tell you when they're coming as well as they don't give you like a time frame so you can make sure you're home. You don't really have to be home anyways when they come out, but I like to just to make sure everything is, you know, they're getting everything. So... Um, they didn't come out uh, Friday, so I called them again and said, hey, um, no, no, they not, not they didn't come out. You guys, they did a no-call, no-show on Friday. What? So I waited all day till like 5 o'clock. I tried to reach out to the company that gets with the contracts and send them out, but they were closed. So I had to call them Saturday morning and ex like figure out what's going on. Like, they supposed to come out Thursday. They rescheduled a Friday. Friday, they did a no-call, no-show, like a job. Like, they didn't do none of that. So then they told me, oh, not to worry, they're gonna be out Monday. You guys, it is Monday um, now. And I'm like, okay, Monday what time? And they're like, we know we can't give you times, but they'll be out Monday. Monday's here. I get another email uh, uh, this morning telling me that they won't be coming out to service my property until May 22nd. What the fuck? It is the 15th. You guys, if you know you live in a HOA, anybody can call because of your yard. Not only is my backyard looking crazy, my front of my yard is looking crazy. And it, it, it's, it's a shit show. Excuse my language, but it is. Um, I'm already furiated because they, they already knew that they posted came out. I don't need the HOA on my ass. Like, let's be for real. Like, they don't play. Um, they love sending people fines, especially. I, this is the first time I've ever done with the HOA. My last, y'all know, my last property, I had a townhouse, so I didn't have these problems. Like, everything was done. That's why I told my husband, we need to go back to a townhouse because living in these houses is not working for me. Um, so, the HOA will send you something, or if someone complains about your weeds being too high or whatever the case may be, like, you got to take care of that. You got to handle it, or it goes into other things. So... Mind y'all, my deadline to do all this was today. So I'm like, okay, fine, which is May 15th. They post came out, serves my lawn or whatever like that. Um, because my leasing office gets a whiff of that, you know, gets knowledge of what's going on or whatever, and I have to correct it. So I just got the phone with them and tell them like, hey, I was trying to fix my yard. They posted it came out, the people that you guys suggested for me to use, but they did a no-call, no-show. At this point, it's just becoming really ridiculous about the communication like I, I hate that I'm a very communal person like I, I love communication like that's my biggest thing is like just talk to me tell me what's going on so at least I can figure out what I need to do so like I said you guys I got the email today telling me that they won't be out to May 22nd I was so when I tell you I'm so mad I am mad because I have to get this resolved by today like my deadline is today like it has to be done today so now I'm like, oh, what other options? So I'm calling different lawn services that in my area and they're telling me that they're booked. They don't, you know, they can't come out today. I won't be able to see, get in until Wednesday or Thursday or probably by the end of the week. So guess what I'm gonna do? 
I'm gonna go right to Home Depot. I'm gonna go and get me whatever I need. I'm gonna go there. I'm, I'm about to head out there now. That's why your girl got through on anything, you guys, because I have to get this done today. I have to upload the pictures to my leasing uh, uh, manager so she knows that it's been taken care of. Like, it's crazy. Um, so I'm about to go to Lowe's and get whatever I need to service this lawn. I'm gonna show y'all the lawn too. Uh, the front is just as crazy as the back, but I'm gonna show I'm in the backyard right now, so I'm gonna show y'all the backyard. Um, but I'm gonna go to Lowe's, see what I can get. Y'all gonna come along with me while I go do this because I've never done this. When my husband gets off work, he's gonna have to take care of this because at this point, I don't, I, I'm over it. I, I don't have time for this. But let me show you guys the back, you guys. Like, it's horrible. Look, look at this. Y'all have to excuse it. Like I said, we had a Mother's Day little thing going on. So, but this is the back of my backyard right now. It look like a goddamn jungle, okay? And you, you guys, this is ridiculous. Like, it is horrible. Like, they need to really fix this. Like, they are driving me crazy. Like, for So, I'm about to get up, you guys, now and go ahead and, um... Get in the car, we're gonna head over to Lowe's and see what they can give me to take care of this. My front yard, like I said, looks just the same. It's horrible, um, especially on my sides, like by my driveway, it's it's crazy. Um, so I'm going ahead and head to Lowe's. Um, I'm bringing you guys with me. So I want you guys to come along with me. Comment down below if you've ever lived in an HOA before, you ever had, got in trouble by them, cause your girl looks like she's getting in trouble by them. Um, as well as, um, like what do y'all do to treat these lawns? Because I have no idea. I guess Lowe's is gonna treat, teach me today what to do, right? So I want you guys to come along with me. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and let's go. Cause we gotta figure out how to take care of this lawn, y'all, before the end of the day. Come on. Okay, we made it to Home Depot, guys. Let's see how much these weed eaters cost, cause I have no idea. I brought my mama. We gotta get one of these screws. No, that's not fair. Okay. This goes straight through aisle three. Okay. Right Is there someone over there? I okay, thank you. We either want to eat it up. Yeah. He's gonna get somebody over here. So hopefully. I, uh... He said all the way straight down, right? Yeah. Okay. Straight down. I'm looking for a weed eater. We need one. Looks so weird. Okay, I think we found our location, guys. One of these. He said he sent somebody over here. The one, there's one for $69. 69, okay. A few moments later. Okay, y'all, I am back. It is the next day. Um, so me and my mom went to Home Depot and um, let me get out the sun so y'all can see me. So we went to Home Depot yesterday um, just to see, you know, to get the stuff that we needed to do the yard. Um, they pretty much told us how much everything would cost and stuff like that, um, which wasn't bad. I think it came out to like 260 for everything that we needed, like the weed killer, um, the actual tool itself, and the things that we needed um, together. But in the midst of that, y'all, um, I ended up getting a call from one of the supervisors that deals with um, the maintenance company that's supposed to come out and do our yard and services and stuff for us. So they apologize for the misunderstanding, the inconvenience that it's caused us. And y'all, they um, ended up coming out to do our yard for us. So now we're back on track. So pretty much I didn't have to get everything from Home Depot. Um, I'll probably keep it so we can use it for future use if we need it for something or they decide to like not show up another time when we have it scheduled or something. But yeah, they ended up coming out doing our yard. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, but it was nice that the supervisor actually reached out to me regarding this because the maintenance was already scheduled. It was supposed to be done. Like the no, no call, no show. Like that's not a fly especially when you have to you live in an HOA y'all these flies are bad out here um especially when you live in an HOA like they want you to get the stuff done they want you to get it you know situated and get everything what needs to be done so um she apologized about that 
Um, she sent out the contractor. The contractor did an amazing job. I'm going to show you guys the backyard. You saw the before pictures, you guys, so you see how it looked before. But, yes, they did an amazing job. They're actually going to be coming out bi-weekly instead of monthly that we originally did because I guess they don't do monthly. That's why they had us scheduled on a bi-weekly, so that's good either way. Um, but she said that if my yard does not need it, we can skip that job and then just make sure they come out the following week because looks like we'll probably just need it once a month instead of bi bi-weekly anyways every two weeks um so yeah so they apologized for the inconvenience and they ended up covering the um the 90 dollars or whatever i pay um for the for the maintenance to be done which is awesome so i'm a, i'm i'm a pleased person right now so i have no complaints about that but yeah they're supposed to come out next month you guys to service our yard again but let me go ahead and show you guys what it's looking like so y'all saw it before and it looked at like we lived in a damn jungle. But now, they got most of the weeds up, or all the weeds up, if you ask me. I feel like this contractor did an amazing job. Especially, he was by himself, too. He didn't even have help. Oh, well, that was a lizard that just flew behind that fence. Um, But yeah, he did really good. I'm really pleased about this. We're trying to do something with this backyard. Um, we're trying to put a pool and like stuff for the kids to do because we have this our backyard is pretty big And so I feel like he did a decent job, so I cannot complain about that um, So we I did request him to be able to service our property um, All the time in the near future because he was like a one-man show, but he did amazing and I always uh, I did tell the um, place that maintenance our yard that I would want that contractor to come out all the time which they said that he wouldn't mind doing that which is great so you guys I don't have to worry about the HOA issue I went ahead and uploaded um, the finished product to my leasing manager because you I, like they get notified every time we get like if we get something going on with the HOA or whatever like that it's my first time dealing with it I did tell him for future use that we will not have this problem again <laughs> But I did upload everything to my property manager, so they're pleased about that. I'm happy that we are able to get this done and organized and done because your girl was, y'all, I was sweating bullets about this because I did not want to get fined by them because they only give you, like, I want to say three days to fix it. And after that, that's when they start sending fines out and everything like that. And they could evict you for not following the HOA rules, which is, is crazy. Um, but anyways, um, if you haven't already, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.